Hello and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam Ortiz Pino and today we are talking about time blocks. Now, <clears throat> I know I've talked about time blocks before, um, but for some reason, there's about a hundred different ways to explain time blocks and every once in a while I get a new idea and a new take and I know different people hear things differently. So I wanted to share this kind of insight into time blocks and and explain them from a little bit of a different perspective than the last time I did. So think of a time block as what you want to do to, when you're looking for more efficiency. It's really the easiest thing you can do to make things more efficient. And there's a couple of reasons for that. But first off, it becomes a container for a certain kind of task. And so you know what to work on when. When you block off an hour in your calendar to work on email, you know you'll be working on email during that time period. And so your brain wraps its head around working on um, email for that duration of time. So it's a focused work session devoted to a certain kind of task. And that certain kind of task is only done during that certain block of time. Of course, there are exceptions, but for 95% of the time, you're going to be working on the same thing at the same time, week in, week out, day in, day out. I know it sounds boring, but work with me here for a second. What really happens is your brain loves routine. <clears throat> you can do all kinds of things without having to think through step by step by step because there are... Um, already routines and subroutines written into your brain. So you don't have to expend the energy of deciding what to work on when and next. It's already built into that little subroutine. So your brain uses less energy and you get more done more quickly and efficiently. So it's a super effective way of getting done those routine tasks that are kind of boring anyway. <laughs> so, for instance, email, making calls, sometimes fun, sometimes not, um, processing your, your banking or your, your um, invoicing, um, grouping uh, batches together of social media posts, things like that, where you don't have to use your full brain, but you need to get them done and they need to stay consistent. That's what we're doing for time blocks. You don't have to worry about when am I going to do that? You know when you're going to do that. You can schedule things into that time based on the fact that you work on those kinds of things at that time every week. So to carry it one step farther than just for the routine things, um, and I guess I should remind you that you set up that time and you stick to that time. So when that time expires, you go on to the next thing. You take your little buffer break and you go on to the next thing. That way your brain gets trained, be faster, get um, get more energy real quick to finish it up. Um, it, it's all about brain training. Um, so the next, the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> See, I'm in a habit and uh, now I, I've gotten off because I was talking too fast and I had to backtrack. Um, but anyway, so what, what you want to do is take it to the next level by doing things like I only schedule doctor's appointments and haircuts and massages and certain errands on Tuesdays because I'm out and about running around anyway. So now when I'm asked when would be a good day for you, I know what time slot to start with. I'd love to do it on a Tuesday first thing in the morning. Great. Oh, I already have something this week, but the week after I'm totally free on Tuesdays at that time. So you know that that particular day, that set of time blocks for Tuesdays allows for appointments. It doesn't have to be Tuesday, but you get the idea. You get to start shaping your week by knowing when these time blocks happen. You wouldn't get, um, so a great example is you wouldn't get all hot and sweaty and then not leave yourself enough time to prepare to shoot a video. <laughs> you would schedule your workout for a different time that day or um, enough buffer time in between to change and freshen up and, and get ready for the video. You don't do them at the same time or in the wrong order. You know what order to do them to save you the most time in the long run. All right. Um, let me just glance at
my notes and make sure there's nothing else I wanted to say. Of course, all my technology is doing a little bit funkiness and I don't have my glasses. <laughs> all right, that's it for time blocks. Let me know what you think. Keep that running list of each of the different kinds of tasks you can put into the time box and then just open that list when you're working on that time block. All right, I will see you next week. And don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, set your notifications to on um, and tell all your friends because it's much more fun to learn these things together. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.